take a look at this fiery cosmic creation. Ast astronomers say we're watching the first moments of a supernova as a dying star bursts through its own surface. Researchers caught it just hours into its collapse, about 22 million light years away. And for the first time, they could see its early shape, which actually looks a bit like an olive. This brief stage usually disappears fast, making it hard to catch. But this new discovery is giving scientists rare insight into how massive stars die. Wow. wow. That's <laughs> 22 million light. How can we see that? I don't know. It's fascinating. Is it really that real? Is. Like, yeah. see, I'm not trying to say like fake news or anything, but like, no, that's wild. It, yeah. And actually, uh, director Rusty and I have been talking a lot about this last couple of yeah. days yeah. because there's also the uh, Voyager 1 okay. that's supposed to go through its first light day come November of next year, which, by the way, a What's light day. What's that mean? Yeah. 16.09 billion miles away. <laughs> Like, how? Yeah. I, I just I, can't wrap my head around it, you know? I, I have no idea. But what we know about supernovas, which, again, is amazing how we can yes. see this far, yeah, yeah. is the universe is a big place. Yeah. But roughly every 10 seconds across the universe, a supernova begins. So what the heck is a supernova? Well, a supernova is just really a catastrophic collapse of a star that releases energy brighter than the entire galaxy. So to put this in perspective, it's take the size of the sun and multiply it by eight. That will likely turn into a red giant. This will happen eventually. So when our sun is going to die, which don't worry, we don't have to worry about that anytime soon for billions and billions of years, but it will return into what's actually called a red giant. And that red giant is going to eventually, red giant eventually is going to lead to the next phase, which is a supernova. But the best thing about supernovas is that the explosion is almost like a universe recycling agent. So it takes that stellar material that all goes into the stars, all those elements, and sometimes it can turn into a remnant called a nebula or a nebulae. That literally is the birth of a star. So it's almost like some of the trees like conifers that Sometimes fire, the scorched earth can kind of grow new trees. That's exactly what happens here, leading to more stars and leading to a lot more heavy elements that are across the universe. And now you know.